Hello and welcome back to another Lego Minecraft Nether Attack Overview. I don't know, is this number 5 or 6? I don't know, the title will say. I should have checked the titles. I'm, I'm dumb. But isn't, this is one of the more action-packed ones. And the reason it took me so long is because of this area back there. That little three-figure area. But now... Let's start over at the nether side. There's not too much going on. That's kind of what I want to start with. Because over there, it's literally all hell. Over here, nothing really changing inside the nether. Nothing. Then this guy right here, who is the prisoner. So all this stuff is currently in the overworld. He is now running, probably to get that pickaxe. Because that is a weapon as you have seen several times before with that Steve in the upper corner. But over here is a skeleton and this Alex who is camping right there is now fighting that skeleton. It's not too great to have to fight an undead overworld mob, especially when it's more important to destroy the nether, which can easily just blow you down in seconds. Then, I'll head around by the Mushroom Island. Here you can see the this guy also emerged from hiding and is now throwing his axe at that magma cube. Did I ever show that the zombie pigment's dead? That guy brought down that zombie pigment. And then the blaze, which did fly over this way from over here-ish, is now attacking him direct. Now, let's move around to the other side. And over here, you can see that this guy who defeated this zombie pigman is now attacking that blaze. And the blaze is, firing, is fighting back hard. And over here is... This took me so long to do because I just was like, what should I do with this area? But as you can see, the three magma cubes have split up. They've defeated this guy. The... Now that Steve back there is fighting that one magma cube. And she's she pillared up with all those like she just tossed them down so that they're stacked and then went jumped on them and is now going to probably try to topple one, but I don't know how she'll get the second one down. That's something that we're going to have to wait and see. Because the first one's easy, it's just one hit. But about the second one that's going after her, that's a challenge. Then, now then, 10 sections. Yep, it's hell. So, the treehouse is less intense, except for this little jump scene. Because this guy jumped from up there and is now making his way. And is going to stab the ghast. And then this guy, the archer, I don't know if he's shooting right now. He might be aiming at that gas, but it makes no sense because the gas is already being shot at. And he is stepping back because if this guy fails, he's probably going to jump. Or he just doesn't want to be seen that well, except with iron armor in the jungle and with a gold sword. Not going to be too hidden. But he did come up now. She is still guarding the boat, not doing anything. Good job. And the gas did fire one fireball hitting square down there. The step pieces, one of them's over here. And it took her down, but she was also throwing her axe. The one that's laying right there with the axe at the back of her head. But then it went boom and she got thrust and then the axe killed her. Does that make sense? Like, she threw the axe, but then the explosion rippled, like, threw her, it didn't ripple, but it just threw her, and then she killed herself with her own axe. Then And then over here, there's the other section, which is super sad, he's got crushed. Knocked off and crushed entirely. His body even broke the stairs. Now that's a surprising thing. And she's going after the ZP right there, zombie pigman. And then the rest aren't really doing anything except for that guy down there with the diamond pick attacking the um blaze and then behind the gas this uh, last scene he just swiveled his sword chopping off the head 
of that wither skeleton. You can see kind of the like part of the wither skeleton right there. And there's the other one coming in. And this is actually the part of the wither skeleton. That button right there, like that little stud on top of the skeleton, is there for just... Maybe it's the uh, burnt brains or something, but it's there to just show that there is something there. But now to the final and last segments that took the least, of, well, that I did probably first are these. I did these first, I think. Maybe one or two other things got done first, but another war's breaking up. This guy's arrived too, and he's just running up now, deflecting blasts from these guys. And the Alex is climbing up. I don't know why. She might try to free the Iron Golem. Or she might attack those guys from above. But I do not know. And that will have to wait. And yeah. This creeper tree looks so amazing. <laughs> They're not real creepers. It's just a tree. But that's actually everything that's happening here. I think. I don't think I missed anything really here. Yeah, there's a better look at the Alex right in the center of the screen with the axe right in her head. Kind of bad. But please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And, well, I will begin. Whoopsies work on the next video now which will take me a bit longer whoopsie daisies mm. okay yeah. i think i'm gonna go now so bye